Mr. Gibson, welcome to the FIG 2014. Uh, could you introduce yourself and your organization first? Certainly. Uh, Chris Gibson, um, thank you very much for inviting me to come here. It's been an absolute blast. It's, some, it's a conference I've wanted to come to for a while, and I'm very pleased to be here. So, my name is Chris Gibson. I am the director of the National CERT for the UK, CERT UK, which was announced a year or so ago by our government ministers and is nearly at the point of operational actually doing stuff. Um, that will cover um, situational awareness, it will cover incident handling and, and various other areas. Okay, um, the conference you attended today was about giving feedbacks of your activities. Uh, shortly, what was your statement today? Uh, the statement is that we're, we're still not quite live, so we're at a point where we're, we're nearly ready to start operations. If I wanted to raise one issue and I wanted to hammer one thing home, it's the issue of collaboration within certs. If certs don't collaborate and share information, in a timely manner to people who can do stuff about it, then I think we're wasting an enormous opportunity. And I genuinely think that that's the one big thing everybody should be thinking about, is how, how they can reach out, build better trust with more people, break down industry verticals, and enable that sharing of information that will allow us to fix problems earlier and solve issues faster. Uh, according to you, what's the major obstacle to this information sharing? It's trust. Um, trust is very easy to build with small people, I can trust you because I've met you. Do I trust your organization? I don't know because I only know you. You know, if I talk to you about something and then you move organizations, does, do your, does your old organization still get that information or does it move with you? That doesn't work long term. Informal trust arrangements are very, very good and very powerful. But over the long term, we've got to institutionalize that trust and allow industry, you know, company to talk to company and trust each other. And that's going to be a challenge. It has to be done faster. We need to be doing this over computer networks, not phone calls and not meetings. Because it, the, the world is moving at such a fast pace. We can't afford to wait three days for a meeting. It's got to be automated. It's got to be fast. It's got to be reliable. And that's a real challenge in, in today's environment. And uh, to face this challenge, what, what are your uh, projects to improve this trust today? I think a lot of it is, is, is talking about it for a start. There's, a, there's a, a sound bite that says if you don't trust, you will never know if you can trust someone until you trust someone. So get out there and try it. Talk to people, trust people, and see if they reward your trust with a proper behavior or whether they completely you know, blow it and throw it away. In which case, you've, you've been burnt, but you, if you don't try, you'll never know. That's what we're going out with, very much forward-leaning, going out to people and saying, we have to do this. And it's, it's, it's just the number one mission for certs in the in EU, I think, in, in the world. You know, cyber attacks are not an EU issue. They're not a my country issue. They're not a your country issue. They're a global issue. We have to build that trust across the world. And your presence today at the conference, was it a part to the um, uh, trust-building pro process? Absolutely, yes. You know, if I don't get to meet people, how am I going to learn how to trust them? And how do they know who I am to come to me and say, Chris, we want to talk to you and we want to start building that trust relationship. So it starts informally, but we've got to build it up. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Mr. Gibson. Um, I wish you a good fic. <laughs> Thank you very much. I've absolutely enjoyed being here. It's been a, a hoot and, and I look forward to doing this again sometime. Thank, Thank you. you.